Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rich's Rides, repping Team Mazda here at the Vallejo Auto Mall off Columbus Parkway. Right here, I'm sitting with your brand new 2024 Mazda 3 Hatchback Turbo Premium Plus Edition. But before we get into this Mazda 3 Hatchback, let's talk about what's going on here. Introduced in 2019, this is a 2024 and it has your updated refreshed tail lights as well as your spoiler and your aerodynamic package for your cruising and going through those twisty bits. So let's hop into our soul red crystal metallic Mazda 3 Hatchback. And also 360 degree view monitoring. You can change a certain angles. The radar cruise control, human centric coded design. Clay, here are those LED headlights and turn signals. As you see, it's that halo. Here we go with our Skyactiv G Turbo 2.5 liter inline four cylinder, making 227 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. But with 93 octane, you'll get 250 horsepower, 320 pound feet of torque. And below that engine is your or cylinder and here's the turbo conveniently placed premium plus hatchback you are getting 26 combined mpg with 23 in the city 31 the highway however we've seen real tests get about 25 city 33 highway but all of your mpg depends on your driving habits here are those led headlights with 215 45 18 inch rims on both the front and rear tires this is all wheel drives it is also complemented with your black side skirts it being the premium plus and also 360 degree view monitoring for your reverse if you are going into a tight spot in your parking areas. As Justin Timberlake said, we're bringing sexy back, so let's open up this trunk. It is strength required, so the beach is that way, and do have a spare tire, and it does come with your Bose subwoofer. This does come with the upgraded premium sound. Here with the seats up, you're graded to a 20.1 cubic feet of space and with the seats down you are at a generous 47.1 cubic feet of space so if you need to put your coolers skateboards or even your dog back there you possibly can here are the rear seats all of it is black leather and you're wondering how to put the seats down in your mazda 3 hatchback fingers here on this latch here it is with one seat down and you do have a middle console armrest for your rear passengers and two cup holders and you may be wondering how to take out the rear privacy cover on the hatchback you simply push up on these out pins here and you can lift up and also take out the rubber pieces that are connected to the hatchback again this is the rear trunk space now with the privacy cover removed 20.1 cubic feet of space and a 47.1 cubic feet of space with these seats down and if you've got all of your items out of the vehicle, you can click on the lock button on the trunk and it will lock all the doors. You will have to physically and manually close the rear hatch. Because it is a premium plus turbo edition, you will have all the tail lights functional in both the daylight and the evening. Here are the tail lights as well as a rear trunk buffer guard. And here is your trunk release at the bottom of the Mazda logo. As I step in, I'm about five foot nine, by the way. And you will have to lower your head because as you see here, it could hit. I'm in my driver position in the front. Once again, I'm sitting about five foot nine and I could maybe be here for a couple hours, but anything more than that, I will probably need a break. So as I enter the rear passenger seat, Close the door has a pretty solid sounding thunk. Shout out to Redline Reviews. And the headrests here, you can adjust to be a little higher or lower. And you do have a middle console here, which is not Charmin soft, but it is pretty nice pillow leather material. Couple cup holders for your on the go drinks. With my leg space, I mean, I am lacking a little thigh space, but that's how it is when you get a compact car but I do feel very attached to the driver and our conversations carry on pretty easily in the vehicle. As you notice with the Mazda 3 hatchback, it's a very sleek design and really Mazda is trying to put that human centric coded design, clay design with the vehicle, implementing it with their hatchback here. You're greeted with LED headlights and taillights. These are adaptive, meaning when you turn left or right, front lip 
to give you that extra aggressive design. The radar cruise control safety alert. So if there is a car in front of you that is stopped, or you also want to use adaptive cruise control, front camera on the dash. This also activates your auto high beams, auto headlights, and your windshield wipers. Circular headlight design, and also your 360 cameras all around. This does have your LED turn signals on the mirror, both on the side, so if someone sees you on your blind spot, they can see you signaling as well. Let's hop into our 2024 Mazda 3 hatchback premium plus turbo. You do have electrical assist for your lumbar. So sorry, I can't get out of the way too quick, but this is how you recline. For your side passenger here, it is manual. So if you want to recline or put the seat back, you lock it in place. Here's the glove box compartment, standard Mazda, but I really love this design here. Brown dark stitching and the AC vents integrated in the dash. You do have your upgraded Bose sound stereo system. And as I close the door, singing this Mazda hatchback, it's so crazy to see how Mazda really is trying to make it everything luxurious. You do have your sunroof and your sunglass holder or your Twinkie holder. Shout out Rady's Rides. You can also see with your passengers who does and who doesn't have their seatbelt on. Instead of looking back, you can just simply look at your rear view mirror. Talking about the rear view mirror, you have auto dimming as well as home link. So if you want to go to not only one, two, three different garages, you can park this car. Make sure it is garages as it is here in the showroom. You do have your Sirius XM and everything is controlled here with knob shout out to bmw but this is how to keep the driver engaged near the leather wrapped shift knob controlling that six speed automatic wireless charger for your android or apple devices your two cup holders i'd say go small in the drink if you're going for a slurpee or a jumbo maybe decrease that size a little bit and get yourself two mediums you do have heated seats heated steering wheel physical knobs none of this you got to go on the infotainment screen and talk about the infotainment screen 10.25 inches what do you do with 10 inches? You use that 360 monitor to look at your left, right. It's all included in there. Look at this leather wrapped steering wheel. Active and adaptive cruise control, lane centering, lane keeping assist, and controlling your volume, the source, and the info. So with this steering wheel, it is tilting and telescopic, but it is manual. So you can bring it out a little more, bring it a little higher. You do have paddle shifters in the back. So if you want to shift down or shift up, middle console area for where I rest my elbow and arm. And once you open it up, I would fit maybe four tennis balls. And you have two USB-Cs and you have this divider where you can change where you want certain things to be. So you say, I want my phone to be there. You can hide it and you can put it back, act like nothing is in there. Come on, join me at the driver's seat to see if you can see yourself behind this Mazda 3 hatchback. Alrighty, folks, we're inside your 2024 Mazda 3 hatchback. As mentioned, this leather wrapped steering wheel. Here's that auto high beam and also adaptive headlights for when you turn left and right, the headlights will turn with the steering wheel. You do have your view to see that 360 monitor you can change a certain angles. You can see if I'm gonna hit the curb. Please no curb rashes in my Mazda 3, thank you. And you do have that wide angle, very visible viewpoint to see where you're reversing or going forward. You can tell the source of you want Sirius XM, you want your Bluetooth. You do have two seat memories and also a little coin jar if we still keep our coins. I know what I'll stash in there. Here you'll have your parking sensors as well as traction control and also turn off that eye active safety sensor Mazda radar ring if you think your blind spot monitoring is a little annoying. Mazda infotainment screen here. This is what I mean, that cornucopia amount of information, your vehicle displays, your safety settings, your connectivity settings, as well as this comes included with Mazda navigation, that's traffic sign recognition, as well as your speed. And you do have that active driving display. Put a medium sized drink here and go small on the New York slice pizza, maybe a couple slices. And once again, your Bose stereo system. One touch on the mirrors, all around. Thanks for joining me in this quick review of the 2024 Mazda 3 Premium Plus Turbo all wheel drive hatchback. Give me a call 707-647-9103 here at Team Mazda at the Boyle Auto Mall off Columbus Parkway. Thank you so much. 
and come schedule an appointment and experience Mazda.